In this episode, we're going to have an interesting look at TurboFrame tags. And essentially, we're going to be able to create high interactivity without writing any JavaScript. I wouldn't use TurboFrame tags for everything, but often they are a great tool to reach for first. So in this example, we have a bunch of different emails and we can click on one of them and then we see that it shows up on the right hand side and it also marked it as red. We can navigate over to other ones and it'll do the same thing. And so there's really two moving parts that we have here. We have when you click on one of these, it needs to then load on the right hand side, the contents or the show page for that record. But then it also needs to replace that record, marking it as red. And so we'll be looking at these examples within this episode today. And the nice part about this is that it's not just limited to a list on the side to then your view. If you had an A side or a sidebar with some dynamic content, then you could do something similar to this as well. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.